So um, I'm talking about uh, the new biologic agents that target um, death receptors and death pathways in cancer cells. This is a new area of clinical research and uh, basic research that actually has now culminated in a number of new drugs that are actually now being trialed in patients with a variety of cancers. So these are agents that target um, aspects of the BCL2 protein family um, and also then what are called inhibitors of apoptosis or the IAP family. Um, the importance of these uh, new drugs is that um, the inhibition of cell death or the inhibition of apoptosis is one of the major reasons why current cancer treatments fail, particularly chemotherapy, uh, because the cells can actually turn off the death pathways that actually kill the cancer cells. And so some of the proteins and some of the receptors that are being targeted by these new treatments um, are actually preventing cells from dying. And so the exciting thing is that um, with these new agents, we can actually inhibit these proteins and therefore accelerate the death of these cancer cells. So um, there are a number of studies now that have been done in a variety of tumors such as small cell lung cancer, breast cancer, ovarian cancer, trialing these agents and prostate cancer as well. Um, and actually some of the initial studies actually look quite promising. Um, importantly, in the development of these drugs, some of the um, studies have actually looked at and measured the target, in other words, what the drug is trying to hit. And importantly, actually, in some of those, what they've shown is that the target's been wiped out. So that's very good information because it means that what you think you're doing in the patient, you actually are doing. And of course, if that's associated with a significant shrinkage in the tumor, um, that's fantastic for the patient. A drug called Abatilax, uh, which targets BCL2, um, and a similar compound called ABT243 and um, 737, actually they all target the BCL2 protein. Um, there's another study actually from Oxford, um, which is uh, being led by Dennis Talbot, uh, which is targeting uh, Survivin, which is one of the inhibitors of apoptosis using antisense oligonucleotides. So my own lab is working on um, two elements. One is first of all discovering novel targets for new drug development coming from resistance models. So in other words, cells or tumors that are have been made resistant. Um, so finding out what proteins may actually be very important in the creation of those resistance cells. Um, and so we've been targeting um, the insulin growth factor pathway, but also the extrinsic death pathway, particularly a molecule called the FLICE inhibitory protein, or CFLIP, which actually inhibits the activation of um, the what's called the death-inducing signaling complex within cells, targeted with TRAIL or with some of the DR4-5 antibodies that are currently in clinical development. The other area of work actually is um, using profiling uh, of gene expression in tumors, particularly in colorectal cancer, to actually begin to try and um, both understand the biology at a more molecular level by subsetting patients who may benefit or not benefit from given therapies. Um, and that falls in line with the you know, current developments around KRAS mutation in relationship to, for example, EGFR inhibitors, uh, but now actually trying to find out within the EGFR um, KRAS mutant population um, what other agents are going to work there. I'm looking forward to seeing the results of the CRYSTAL study, uh, which is um, a study from Europe uh, uh, where they will be presenting the data on the KRAS mutations. Um, and so I'm looking forward to seeing the uh, published results of that.